Hey everybody, this is Jake with Myers Flies. It has been, it's been a minute since we did a video, <clears throat> but I just wanted to uh, jump back on here and uh, tie some of these little black stone flies, and uh, we'll get into that in just a minute. We um, we made some changes at Myers Flies. Uh, my brother had some health problems. I had some health problems, and uh, anyhow, the Lord's been good. He has. Uh, brought healing and uh, you know we're, we're doing better getting some things where they need to be that wise but as far as the shop goes um, we have closed down that brick and mortar store still tying flies for orders for people uh, still doing the on stream uh, fishing class where we teach people how to urine nymph and fly fish and whatever style they're trying to do but anyhow just um just had to make some changes and uh anyhow it's been good we praise the lord for his uh, mercy and uh, his provision during that time and many of you have reached out with thoughts and prayers and, and we appreciate it uh, i was tying this uh for uh for an order and i'm actually going to show you two different variations this has a tungsten bead on it this is what we're going to be tying tonight this is a 2.5 millimeter fire hole uh, black tungsten bead. This is a Daiichi uh, 1560, just a regular nymph hook in a size 14. I usually tie these in 14s and 16s as maybe like a bigger version of this little black stonefly. Right now, the early black stoneflies are coming out and they range from, you know, 18 to 14. Uh, 14 being, you know, obviously on the bigger side, but that 16 is a really good happy medium. But this one I tie with a tungsten bead. I also tie it with a little flashback on it as maybe an attractor. It's a little bit heavier of a fly. Uh, put some wire ribbing on it. It's just a little bit more meaty. This is like the tank version, okay? And then uh, I'm going to do another video with this one, which is just a very basic. Uh, there's no wire ribbing on it. This is very light. Um, this is a very light fly. In fact, if you put some floating on this uh it will ride in the film you know it'll ride just in that little top layer of the water so uh, but anyhow this is this is one that i tie no bead uh very light fly very simple fly and i like these in a 16 and an 18 <clears throat> because what i'll do is i will tie a heavier fly fish the heavier fly on the bottom and then i'll put this on my little tag dropper which is obviously riding higher in the water column so anyhow just uh just wanted to show that to you but this is the one that's a little bit heavier version that's the one we're going to tie right now so what you want to do there should be a description with all the material there this here is uh, just some 140 denier uh, UTC thread and so you can put that in tie this all the way back to the bend of the hook and right there at that bend I'm just going to kind of build that up just a little bit with like a little ball right here this is going to allow my bias to splay out a little bit at the back See, that's just a little bump, just kind of bumps just a little bit. And I'm going to take goose by it, you know, just right off of the stem there. I'll strip those, strip those off. And remember your goose by it, it has a curvature to it. So you want that curvature to go out. I'll show you here when I tie this. So I put that right on the side of the of the hook and it's it's actually splaying out already naturally and then i'll get it where i want it with this finger and i'll put my other finger against it and come in and secure it now as far as length goes i try to um, to get these you know you don't want your tails like super long I don't think the fish have a measuring stick out there, but if I, if, I, if I feel it's a little bit much, I'll just kind of pull it back just a little bit, and that's that's about where I like that. So usually you want maybe like half the body length 
you know, and I'll just kind of tie that in. Throw the other one, same way, on the near side of the hook towards you. And then again, there you're just going to match up the other side that you've already put on. So once you get that where you need it to be, and you can cinch it down, you know, tight, wrap that up. And all this stuff will just get tied up at the very front. Now, you got your bites tied on. They're splayed out. See how they, they kind of splay out there at the back? That's what you want. Now I'm going to take a little bit of brassy size, just black, ultra wire. And I'm going to tie this in to the side of the hook closest to me. So I just put it on the side. Bring it all the way back to where that hook splays out. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to counterclockwise spin you know my my thread and what that does is it just helps that thread to lay flat and gives me a nice smooth body as I run up through there okay and then that's that's it for the body this wire is going to wrap up around there it gives a little bit of ribbing type effect for like segment and then also you know because you're just using thread you know, it just does add a little bit to the durability of the fly. Do a little helicopter spin there with that. Now, you'll see that just kind of creates a nice little body there. And again, your, your cord will get, you can see it, it gets twisted. So if you counterclockwise spin it, it'll kind of get flat. So now I'm going to come in with just a piece of this holographic tinsel. This is just a opal mirage tinsel. Use anything like it. You can even use, you know, natural. Just use pheasant tail or something. If you just want dark, I just, I like the, uh, yeah, a little bit of the a flash on there. Now, as far as where you're going to go here, it looks like it's half the body. But when you pull this up, once you're, because you have the bead here, it, it'll give good proportions. You just want it to look, you know, like it's a uh, proportion, right? And I'm going to take a little bit of black squirrel dubbing. You can use anything here as far as dubbing goes. Some Whitlock, I mean, something, you know, like Whitlock, some of that stuff's real spiky, you know, hairline dubbing, you know, just whatever this is just this is actually some some black it's just a squirrel that a friend of mine Andy Spittle shout out to him got me some of that okay so after that's wound up there now I'm going to take two more of those by its okay and we're just going to lay them now this time the curvature it's going to go down. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to lay this on the top. And I want that to extend. You see how the end of that by it is about the end of the body. Okay. Again, fish aren't measuring. But anglers do. They want something that looks nice. And obviously flies are, you know, there's a certain symmetry to their body proportion. I'll put the next one on. So usually I, I kind of wrap it. Now this will lay down here in a minute. I wrap in between each one and then under each one. It kind of traps them in there. Now you can come back, cut off the excess here. Again, they'll lay down here in just a minute when I pull this up. I'm going to tie this in. See them start to lay back down. Just going to tie that in. About two or three wraps there. Pull it back. Put another two, three, four wraps. 
and that's when I just cut it. And you're ready for your whip finish. You do about a five turn whip finish. Make sure it's nice and tight. Put it double. A lot of times I'll do double whip finishes just because I like redundancy like that. But anyhow, so that's it. Now, what we'll do is come in here like this. You can kind of take a little piece of Velcro, pick out the bottom. Just makes it a little more buggy. Then what I do is come in, you can use some Sally Hansen's, or I'm going to use right here just a little bit of uh, UV. And I'll hit that with a, with a UV torch. That's it. That's a fish catcher, fish catcher right there. Just tied a bunch of these up for an order. And, uh, you know, this time of year, the little black stone flies go all. And, uh, boy, this just does really, really good. I mean, I'll catch fish, you know, all the time. But, I mean, just right now, this time of year, early spring, stuff's coming out. So, give it a try. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if we can be a help to you at any time, uh, you know, we certainly would would like to do that. So, hey, thanks, guys, for all your support, all the fly orders, and um, just happy fishing. Enjoy God's creation. Have a great day.